So, so far, we've set up our preferences, we've had a good look at the Final Cut Pro 10 interface, and we've worked out how to get content onto hard drive. Now, before we begin the editing process, we need to organize that content. Now, let me make the point that Final Cut Pro 10 is very strong on organizational abilities. There was a time, and I'm going back 20 years of my career here, when we used to take lots of notes, we used to make big logs, we used to write so much down on paper, we used to type it up. Sometimes there'd be a PA on set just to get organized. You don't have to do any of that. Final Cut Pro 10 offers some really simple ways to organize your footage, which are incredibly quick, and it makes the old ways look like ancient history, which to be perfectly honest, it is. Okay, so organizing media. The first thing you've got to be able to do is just look at your media. Back to the Final Cut Pro 10 interface. So you can see I've got a few events here. I've got Bahamas, I've got Rome, I've got captured media, and I've got tape footage. Let's go into Bahamas and have a good look at the content that's here. So if I click on the keyword collection in Bahamas, keyword collection is the actual highlighted in blue below the main actual event itself. And you can see I've got various shots of parrots, and I can skim through each of those clips. So the first thing is just to have a look at what's there and you can scroll up and down and it's all very simple to use. Okay, so find a clip that you like. I like this one at the top of the parrot. Press the space bar to play. Nice and simple. And the clip will play. If you want to go backwards, press J. If you press J more than once, you can scrub through. And likewise, press L. And if you scrub L more than once, you can scrub through. So it's a quick way of just rushing through your footage and getting a good look at what's there. And you can also do it with skimming. I find the skimming incredibly powerful because you can actually just go through a whole load of clips in one go very quickly. Not even stopping, just skimming through and just seeing what's there. As an editor, you need to know what content you've got to work with and no better way than just to skim through and quickly get it into your mind what you've got to work with. Okay, so once you've actually gone through it, you, get, you actually get around to organizing what's there. And we've got different tools to actually help us with this process. The first thing is you can actually rate your footage. Now notice over here, we've got a green star, we've got a star which is not colored, and we've got a red cross. So if we just look at what's there, green is for favorite, and the red cross is for reject. And the one in the middle is to unrate. So if you've labeled something, if you've rated it, you can get rid of the rating. Okay, just looking at this footage here, I really like the shots of the lizards. Okay, and I particularly like the front on shot where I can see its head nice and big. Okay, so if I highlight that clip and press the green star, that marks that clip as a favorite. And you can see it's now got a green line on top of it to actually say that it's a favorite. Let's find some more clips. I like this side view of the lizard. Click and press the green star or press F and that will make that one a favorite. Now this clip down here, okay. I like the look of that. I'll make that one a favorite. This one here, that's not so useful. I'm gonna press the red cross and that will mark that one as a reject. Delete key for reject. Again, this clip here of the water, that's no good. Press the backspace key and that actually marks the clip as a reject. And likewise, the green star or green for favorite, okay? Now I like these parrot shots. I'm gonna label that one, that one, and all these ones and holding down the command key to highlight them all together. I'm gonna mark all of those as favorites, green star, or F for favorite, and you'll see they're all marked. Again, that one I don't like the look of, I don't like the look of this clip, and I'll press the cross or backspace key for reject. Okay, so once you've gone through and you've marked your clips as favorites or rejects, you can very quickly say to Final Cut Pro 10, show me all the good clips, show me all the favorites. As simple as selecting all clips and saying favorites. And there you go. I've now only listed in front of me the clips that are favorites. Likewise, I can say, show me the ones which are rejected. Click rejected, and the three clips that I marked as rejected have now been shown in front of me as the reject clips. If I think, ah, hang on a sec, that clip was a good one. Even though I've marked as a reject, I can either press F for favorite, and very quickly, that will suddenly be marked a favorite. And if I go back to my favorites, I can see it there amongst all of the favorite clips. Or 
you can choose, let's say I look at this clip of um, the tortoise and I say, you know, that's not as good as I thought it was. I want to get rid of that. You can either mark it as a reject or just unrate it. Press the star which is actually not got a color attached to it and then click it and you lose the favorite reference for that clip. Or press U for unrate. So just to run through it again, F for favorite, U for unrate, backspace key for reject. So you can very quickly just use those letters or just use the green star, the star which is not colored, or the red cross to say reject. Always keep in mind that you can mark multiple clips as favorites or rejects in one go. If I click on Rome, you'll see that I've got a lot of footage in there. And now I've got all the clips labeled in front of me. So if I was to highlight, say, 20 clips in one go, and then just press F, then all those clips are marked favorites go from all clips to favorites and all those clips are represented in front of me. So you can see qu how quickly and efficiently it is to quickly sort through your footage and say, I want this clip as a good clip, that's a favorite. That clip's no good, that's a reject. And in a very short space of time, you can quickly go through and label your clips accordingly. Now I do have to make the point that you can actually mark sections within a clip as favorites or rejects. So if I just go to some of my unmarked footage, select all clips, I'm now in the Rome footage and just have a good look at this shot. Okay, if I mark an in point here, I for in and O for out, that will select a range. And by pressing F, you can see that that part of the clip has been labeled. Likewise, here's another shot. Okay, it's a little bit wonky at the beginning. Once it gets past that, okay, and the clip settles, I for in and I can use L to scrub forward. O for out and then press F for favorite and again it's marked that section within the clip. Now likewise you can mark part of a clip as no good. I for in, O for out and hit delete, hit the backspace which is delete and it's marked that portion of the clip bad. So it's very quick to actually go through and press F for favorite, U for unrate or the delete key for actual reject. And one more way of organizing your media, which I just want to run through, is called keywording. Now, keywording is immensely useful. I use it all the time. The fact is, you don't need to use keywording if you don't want. You can ignore it completely. Just go through and rate your footage, marking favorites, marking rejects, as I showed, marking sections within clips as favorites or rejects. But keywording enables you to create collections of clips that you defined. I think the best way to show it is just to actually run through the process and let you see by example. Okay, so if I just highlight a bunch of clips, these are all shots of parrots. Highlight those clips you want. Press this little icon here which is for keywording and I'm just going to type parrots. Okay, I've actually spelt it correctly this time with two R's. Alright, so parrots. So I, I type the word parrots and then just press return and you'll see some animation and very quickly all those clips have been defined in a collection called parrots. And you can see here below Bahamas I've actually got parrots and in there is all the shots of the birds. Again I can go through, I can scrub through those clips and you can see we've got all the parrot shots in one area defined which is very useful. Again I'll go back to the Bahamas footage and I'll highlight these three and I'll keyword this one and I'll call it flowers. And again, I've now got a keyword collection called flowers. And if I go into that collection, you can very quickly see all the shots that I've labeled as flowers. So it's simply an organizational tool to let you put a label attached to each of those words and put that into a collection. Okay, one more. Now I've got this, this is all the ocean and the beach. Um, I'll just call that one ocean and again, press return and I've keyworded those as ocean. So all these details are spelt out in detail inside of my book, The Easy Guide to Final Cut Pro 10. But the concept, as I've just shown you there, is to create keyword collections, which lets you very quickly access the media via those collections. And I'll make the point again, you can completely forget about keywords if you want. If you don't want to be bothered keywording your footage, well, just do the rating or just file it away in the events so that you know where things are. But it's a huge advantage to filing things away as keywords, simply because you can have an event and you can put all of your content into a single event, make up a whole bunch of keyword collections, and it will make your life a whole lot easier.